So hello everybody, my name is Dawn Crothers and welcome to my very first sketching session at my studio. So I'm going to be uploading uh, videos every week um, just from my studio here and we're going to be give, sending you lots of inspiration and ideas mainly for children. Now you like to take children's classes um, a lot but if young adults want to get jo join in, the whole family wants to join in that's great. Whatever you want to take from these sessions, it's up to you. So if you're a little one, you might want some help with some of the drawing and creating. You might want to um, start off with a little subject and maybe build it into something else. If you are a little bit more independent, you could, you could use this little session. It's going to be about 20 minutes long. Just a quick sketching session to get your mind thinking, to maybe think about something you haven't thought about before, some other drawing, some some technique I use. So please feel free to send me your feedback and lots of maybe more ideas of what I could draw. So my first session is going to be a squirrel. So I love to draw animals. That's one of my things that I love to do. And I also, as an artist, always get quite inspired by the seasons. So we are moving from summer to autumn and the leaves are just starting to sort of fall down a little bit. And that made me think about making our little class this afternoon quite autumnal. So that made me think about the squirrel. Uh, we're going to sketch a little squirrel out and I'm going to slowly do it little bit by bit in little shapes for you. So what do you need? Whatever you want to use to join in. You can just use a piece of paper, you can use a sketch pad, you can maybe get a whole canvas that could start off a whole Sunday session of painting, which is great. So sometimes it's just getting everything out that is the hard thing to do. So that's why I'm doing these sessions to encourage you to do just that. To get your pencils out, to get your pens out and to switch the TV off, to put the iPad down and just do a little bit of art for a while, okay? Nothing difficult, nothing hard. Just, oh, sorry, something, just a nice little sketch drawing to get the mind working, okay? So let me see, let me try and get me in the right position. Okay, uh, so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just using a big, large piece of card. I find around the studio here and I'm using some charcoal because charcoal is great for demonstrating. And we're gonna get started. So, techniques, so I always like to try and sort of tilt to the side. Okay, you can see me and I think that's good. Okay, we're good to go. Now, let's get started so let me see I am going to start sketching out the general shape of the squirrel okay so I am going to be using the method I always do and I teach in my classes and that is sketch it light until it's right so you make little tiny marks sketchy nail marks until you find your way. So you're not going to see this on the screen very clearly just yet, but that's because I'm sketching it light until I find that it's right. And that's just the sort of thing we'll be expressing in our little videos every week. Just little basics to think about. So I'm going to actually also, another basic to think about is the shape. So try and find some nice basic shapes to work from. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sketch the head. I'm actually working from a little photograph. Which I can show you here actually on this wee bit. Just here. Yeah, so I'm going to sketch the little head. You can do the same. You can just find lots of nice photographs of whatever you want. If you're lucky, you might see have squirrels that pose for you outside your window. 
But if you don't, like most people, because they never stay still, you can try and get a lovely photograph. Print one off the computer. Go onto the computer, ask your mum and dad, type in something that you would like to draw, photograph, and then print it out. Or you can copy from books or nature books, things like that. I think that kind of... Now this little line is going to disappear, but that's going to help us now. Go up this way. I think that looks kind of like my head. So if you're using pencil, guys, let's always have a rubber, okay? Because the rubber will help you. You make your little light marks, you can commit to the line a little bit, and then you can also move things around. So I think that is a great first shape for my head. I'm just going to put my little nose just here. And then there's just the cutest little marks here. And this is just this quick sketch of the mouth. Now again, sometimes I move things around. And with my art, I never, I never really draw or paint exactly realistic things. I always love to just get the essence of the animal, just the, the feeling of the animal, the character of the animal. But everybody's got their own style and the way they like to do things. And that is really one thing you should be thinking about when you are creating your art, you know, everybody sees the world in a different way and that's what make art, makes art so interesting. So there's one ear. So we just have the confidence to draw and paint or sketch, whatever you want to sketch, whichever way you want to do it, okay? Follow along with me today and that might spark off some inspiring thought that you had or have. I don't know if that ear is too, small, too um, big but hey ho we can come back. I think that looks pretty good. Yes. Thumbs up. So uh, I'm thumbing up, <laughs> there's nobody here with me. <laughs> it's me used to all my class, so I'm just gonna put the eye in here. Let's put a little bit of an eye, just because it gives a sort of general feeling of it. So I'm happy with that head. I'm not totally happy with my nose though, so I don't think that works at all, but I'm gonna try and move it around. We will, this here part works pretty well, but it just goes down. That wee nose, that's much better. Okay, now we're cooking, this is good. So let's see, let's move down. I'm gonna move my little image just across here. Maybe I have to put that down a little bit. Hold on. I'll move this down here actually. Oops. Quite heavy this piece of card. I'll just have to leave this down here for a little moment till I get my let you stay there. My little arms. So just put it down the little arms. And he's actually eating. He or she is eating a little flower or a little nut or whatever you would like it to. I didn't think it would be a nut, but it actually looks a little bit like a flower. So remember what I'm doing, I'm sketching it light until I find where I think the arm could go. And it's just, I think it looks good just there. Right. And they've got the cutest little hands, quite big hands actually. Not big hands, but they've got long sort of fingers that are quite human-like. Just do them like that. Look, can you see those pretty well? Maybe I should bring this a little bit closer. And that's pretty good. 
Mind actor, sort of goes down like this and around. And then we've got the other little hand just poking around in here. And should that be a little bit smaller? And this should maybe be a little bit bigger. Okay, this should be a little bit smaller. Yeah. Remember, if you want, I'm going to put our little knot here. You can always stop this video. Because sometimes I do like to go back and fix things. Or what you could do is watch the whole thing and see how I bring it all together. And then go back. That might work. Because I tend to like to go back to things. a little nut or a flower or whatever you would like okay so let me see da, 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 da. we will just to put this away i'm going to go down here this lovely big leg and these lovely big paws. Can't actually see those, so I'm just going to make them up. I think that's roughly the right shape, and it's got a nice little big fluffy kind of belly. I think that's kind of quite a good shape. Just going to put some claws on there. Put some nice leaves. Now, are we missing anything? <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to fix that head, I think. I don't think the head's too right. I think we need to go... Aha! More... More kind of up this way. And maybe hair would kind of stick up a little bit like this. That's what I love about animals. They're always quirky and different and every shape is different. I think that's why so many artists love to draw them. Yeah, their ears are not so much, well, it is a little bit bigger actually. Definitely. I made them a little bit too small and then this kind of a little bit more like that and then I'm gonna make this eye a little bit more dramatic it's got some teeth some hairs Now, do you think we're missing something? I think we are. We are missing a giant tail. <laughs> I need to make the nose a little bit more darker, don't we? There's somebody just coming into the gallery as I am fiddling. And their phone ringing, of course, and now they're talking. I'll just give me a second and I'll actually just... Yes, okay. It's people popping into the studio. So we'll just carry on without. I get this lovely fluffy tail.
up the ways and around the ways. That's really every sort of way here. Let's move this a little bit slightly too. That's what that is. Okay, and then we'll bring this up here. So just go around, try and make some adjustments. Let's see if we can do this really well. Okay. And I think that works really nice. Okay, so if you want to, you could put a little bit of a little bit of orange paint, which is lovely just to do a wee wash sometimes of some colour. Particularly these nice blacks and orange just look really lovely together. So please, 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 please let me see your lovely autumnal um, squirrels. Let me see some of your artwork. Let me know how you felt, if it was fun. Did you like it? Send me some pictures. I know that you kids are just love using your imagination. Did you turn your squirrel into anything? Did you build um, a little house in a tree? Did you give your squirrel a name? Maybe you give it a little name. Anything else that you think could be fun or inspire other children, please get in touch. I'll just put a little bit of orange on our beautiful tail and I hope that you all have a lovely Sunday together and you enjoyed my very first little tutorial session. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. See you next week. Bye.